Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Boy Swire. Boom here with another A. Oh, oh no, it's a Mug 4 bringer. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Just be walking right with you. No problem. Where'd you go? We're, we're chicken winging it, man. We're chicken winging it. I wasn't planning on doing one of these. Um, so we're just going with the flow. All right, we're at Taco Bell. And uh, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do that. That triple double crunch wrap, but the spicy one, we're gonna do that one. And I think I wanna try that taco burrito too. Sorry about that way, go right ahead. No, you're fine. Uh, can I get the that loaded taco burrito? Little taco burrito? Anything yeah. else? Yeah, can I also get the spicy triple double crunch wrap? Alright, anything else? Yeah, a um, nacho supreme. And I'm sorry, what was that? A nacho supreme. A nacho supreme? Yeah, and um cinnamon twist. Alright. And a last thing's gonna be a, a Baja Blast freeze thing. Alright, anything else? That's it, ma'am. Alright, that'll be eleven dollars and eighty four cents. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. All right. Um, Taco Bell lunchtime rush so there's a huge line uh, so half of this video might be us just waiting <laughs> uh, and just me wasting your time what's up it's been a minute I haven't done a mug four banger in a very long time um, you guys just been watching my ASMR and uh, not, I, I wish I could sit here and be like, yo, mad stuff has happened, dog. Yo, I've been through like this and that. Yo, I've been through life. No, nothing. Just, it's a, guys, I'm old. I'm out of that 20 something ish life. I'm in my 30s. I don't do nothing but work. What I consider fun is like, I don't know, finding a new blender at Bed Bath and Beyond. <laughs> like, I don't know, I get excited for that kind of stuff. Um, and sitting at home using that blender and making smoothies for the first time. Oh yeah, I've been doing that. I've been I've been working out like way more. I know I always say I work out, I'm he I mean healthier, blah blah blah. I'm on this diet. Uh I've been I doubled up and I've been that's probably why I'm I'm s i am i am slowed down this past week on ASMR, but I doubled up on uh, eating healthy and working out and yada 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 blah 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 i've been eating fucking quinoa and black chia seeds and grape nuts and fucking protein shakes and it's just it's just been uh it sucks but hey it's my day off i'm in gym clothes because i'm like you know what maybe if i'm in the mood i'll hit up the gym later on because i gotta run some errands but we up in here doing the muck four banger get some tackle bill Cash or credit? Uh, we go go with the credit card because you know my cash is low. My cash is running low in my funds right now. In my wallet, I, I never carry cash with me anyway. So, uh, you know, it's been three and a half minutes, huh? Oh, uh, actually, okay. Let me. I've never actually had a Baja Blast Breeze before. I, I have had, I've had the Baja Blast soda. But I've never had the Baja Blast Breeze. If you don't know what Baja Blast is, it's a particular soda that Mountain Dew makes specifically for Taco Bell. And I think you, I think just recently you can actually buy it at the stores. Um, but it's always been exclusively through Taco Bell. 1184. How are we doing? Good. How you doing? Good. You need any sauce? Yeah. Can I get a handful of fire? Yes, you may. Thank you, ma'am. Here you go. Be just a moment. Appreciate you. No problem, sir. The card went through. <laughs> Dude, the card's gonna go through, okay? I got like, I got like $42 in there. <laughs> Let's try this out real quick. This is the Baja, Baja Blast Breezer. It's like, an, it's like an icy, like shaved ice, kind of, with the Baja Blast flavor. Just drink it already. Yo, 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 cause it's hot. You can see my cheeks. They're rosy today, man. It's hot as hell outside. Mwah.
Taco Bell's particularly fast today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, you too. All right, now the key is when you're doing a muck four banger or anybody out there that does ASMR or does any of the, lives any of this type of life, and and when you're doing it in the car, you gotta find a spot. You gotta find a spot to go eat this crap. A spot where it's kind of shady, not like bad, but like literally shady. <laughs> so I think I found the spot though. I think I got it. I think we're good. All right. I'm hungry as hell, guys, so we should go dive in. I don't got nothing to say. I have been just chilling all day today. I haven't done nothing. I woke up. Oh, I cut, I cut my hair. I've been trying to get better on my lineups, man, but my lineups, like, I've been trying not to go to the barbershop and just save some money. Um, hence all the Taco Bell, you feel me? Uh, but... Yeah, my, my haircuts, man, because I do a fade and they cut in and line up and then they pluck my nose hairs. And, and I'm not trying to pay for that. So I'm trying to do it myself. I'm all right. I can get better. Look at this. This is the spicy. The sp <laughs> Damn, Jesus Christ. This is the spicy triple double crunch wrap. Um, and of course, like classic Taco Bell, they did not give me my cinnamon twist. And I just don't feel like going in there. And I didn't get fire. I got hot sauce. But... I did notice that they gave me an extra burrito of some kind. So, maybe it was meant to be. That's a great thing about... Anybody that doesn't live in the States, and they're not from the States, that's a great thing about uh, fast food drive throughs in the United States. But, when, but I'm talking about, like, Taco Bell. What are the worst ones? Taco Bell, McDonald's. Yeah. If you look at the positive side of it, it's like the lottery. I want to order this, 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 and this. Am I going to get it? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mm. All right. Let me get into these nachos, yo. Nacho Supreme. Oh no! <laughs> I almost have to, I almost have to crunch that. So, one thing I noticed when I was cutting my hair this morning, and I was like, "Oh my God!" <laughs> 
it's like like the picture it's just falling it's like look at it's just exactly like the picture that you see on the menu it looks so pretty they should be throwing stuff on man that's why you can't go to Taco Bell during lunch rushes because all these noobs get all flustered and then they don't know what they're doing. They forget certain things. They just throw stuff on top of each other. You know what I'm saying? You eat with your eyes first, homie. Presentation is the key. Oh, I like to see you do it. You right. You right. I can't. I can't. My, yeah, it's probably hard. Real talk. Real talk is probably hard. Yo, working in food retail is probably, like, yeah. It's probably super hard. So... Let me stop. Silver lining. Fucked up. No. <laughs> oh, Baja Blast. You always make me feel better, though. That dodo. That better, though. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. I usually get the Bell Grande, but I knew that Crunch Wrap and the loaded taco burrito would go fill me up. Oh, like I was saying, I was cutting my hair. Anything I do in my crib, I always blast the music. There's always constant music going on. Soft music in the background. Any type of music, but as long as the volume is just on point, where I can still like do shit and concentrate. But I always have music at the crib. Um, I just realized. You know, I got all kinds of vinyl and CDs. I got everything. But I realized that all my Selena CDs are in my storage. And I was like, you know what? I should buy I should buy a whole bunch of Selena music on iTunes anyway. I need to have that shit on my phone. So I bought, a, I bought a whole bunch of, if you don't know who, um, Sele, <clears throat> sorry, Selena, if you don't know who Selena is, she is a Mexican American singer, songwriter, amazing woman who passed away, who got killed, unfortunately, rest in peace. J-Lo played her beautifully. I don't care, mama. I don't care if you're Puerto Rican. You played Selena beautifully. Oh, I'm going to go in, you know. I'm just, I don't even care right now. I'm going to just go in. Here we go. Thirteen minutes. Damn, time. That's why I can't stand about the muck four bangers, man. Time just flies. I'll be yapping. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, Yo, I swear they put all the good stuff in the bottom, just threw chips on there on top. Oh, you still ate it though. Yeah, you're right. You right. So yeah, all morning. I'm in there tweezing. Cutting, tweezing the hairs of my ears, my nose. Yeah, I'm telling you, once you get into your late 30s, you'll be getting hairs in places you never thought. It's like a second puberty. <laughs> What am I talking about right now? <laughs> I'm talking, and it's like I'm like thinking right, like people are gonna watch this, like thousands of people for real are gonna watch this. I just, that's what blows my mind still to this day about YouTube. It's like I still get that feeling sometimes of like when I first started my channel. Anyways, so I'm just cutting my hair this morning, tweezing about, listening to Selena, bidi bidi bam bam, God I bless. Cada vez que no vuelvas más Cada vez, cada vez Uh Es emocional Y con razón Y no Yeah, okay 
Look at all that shit, man. Man, that shit brought me back. Okay, this is not. This is a bean burrito. Take a quick bite first. I think this is a loaded burrito, the taco burrito. What's this one? Free soft taco. Oh, I got two of them. What? Fatty make butter pants. Fatty make butter pants. So yeah. This video is dedicated to Salena. Salenas. Because I know she's watching from above, yo. J-Lo, we miss you. <laughs> yo, how good does J-Lo look still, though? But then you always got that hating woman. It's like, that's all surgery and shit, though. You know how these rich actresses do? She ain't, that ain't real. You can't. The expectations of a woman today are so high. It's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. That actually reminds me of a joke that Bill Burr did on his most recent podcast, I think, where he's like, Remember back in the 80s and 90s where, like, all the women actresses were just ridiculously, like, like, dime pieces? Like, they were, like, 12s. They weren't 10s or 11s. They were 12s. They were, like, ridiculously. They don't do that in movies anymore. Now you got all these women nowadays just be looking normal. There's normal women in movies. And he's, like, he's, like... Because so many women have bitched enough. The expectations of looking like the women in the movies is so much. It's ridiculous. It's like, what did he say? He's like, that's like if I was watching a movie and I was like, look at Brad Pitt. What? This ridiculous expectation of a man from it. Anyways, it was funny when I heard it. Now I just sound like, now I just sound like a sexist douche. <laughs> too but if a woman said that about Selena the expectations of looking like her are way too high I agree Selena she she was gorgeous oh oh I was thinking about that man like what about all the artists that passed away all the great ones what would they be like today like how would they look what, what kind of music would they be pumping out? Mm. I got into a classic man conversation where it was like if Big Ear Pac jumped into your car right now what kind of uh, um Oh, crap. There we go. And they were like, hey, play the best hip-hop music out right now. What would you play? Then I thought to myself, like, would I selfishly play what I like that's out right now? Or would I or would I play the kind of hip-hop they would be like, oh, shit, like, like something that Pac would like or Big would like. Oh, sorry. No, the question was, if Big and Pop got in your car and they said, play the hottest hip-hop album since I died, what would it be? And I thought about it. I could have gone to Kendrick, you know, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, even Outkast, uh, Kanye West's first couple albums. But the ones I think that they could relate to the most were two albums. Eminem's LP. I think Biggie would like that one. And DMX's first album. I talked about this on my Instagram. Which, by the way, hit me up on my Instagram. 
I'm under Berto Smalls or my Snapchat. I'm under Suave Boom. I'll leave all the social media information down below in the description box. But that's it, guys. I'm only going to do a 20 minute video. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. Peace.